Hey everyone, it's Melody. I am here with a Christmas card share. I am doing something different for my Christmas cards this year. I'm actually making different cards. Like every single card is different. <laughs> um, what you guys typically know I do is that I'll make mass make one style of card, one Christmas card. Um, that's, that's the whole shebang, you know. But this year I just... I was really late on starting Christmas cards. Like I know that it's only December 1st, but I typically like to have them done by now and then um, ready to mail out and you know, written and all that good stuff. But um, I was just so late on it this year. So when I actually sat down to get crafty a few days ago, I didn't have any idea of what kind of card I wanted to make. Um, and I just looked at all of my supplies and I was like, I'll just start making a card. And then it turned into, I'll just make another card. And so all of my cards are different. So um, I've made, 15 I think or so this year. I have a couple from last year that um For the last two years that I'm also gonna just kind of send out since I guess the theme is they're gonna be different this year So um, I'll show you guys those as well. Just so you kind of see um, What my Christmas cards used to look like as well. So um, so for example, this was I think last year's or the year before um, so I this was pretty much everyone's Christmas card um, or holiday card, what have you. Um, I used this corrugated cardboard as the back. Um, I had, uh, it could have been green or red or whatever color I happened to have. And then I used a little bit a, of holiday paper um, on top of it. I had these um, really pretty snowflake um, die cuts. And then I had just this kind of design with this penguin. And that was my, that was my card for last year or the year before, I can't exactly remember. Um, but I actually really love it. It feels so sturdy with the corrugated cardboard. I kind of wish I had, um, I actually do think I have more, but I wish I had done more with it this year. Maybe I'll cut up some pieces and do some more cards with that. But I did love that. So that's one of the ones I'm still going to be mailing out. Um, this is probably the year before that now that I'm thinking about it. So this might have been last year. This might be the year before. This is just another very simple card that I did a couple years ago. A lot of layering, lots of different colors. Um, I tried to use just the Lawn Fawn Christmas pack that year and then some washi tape um, and then I paper pieced the little owl on um, the little owl scarf on there. So that was another very simple card. So these are from previous years and I'm just going to go ahead and um, mail those out. And I think I saved them just so I could remember what I made the previous years, but I think I am okay with letting them go now. Um, so this is now this is starting this year. Uh, just what I just started to randomly make. So this is one of them. I had leftover black cardstock and I'm itching to use up all of my cardstock right now, like um, pre pre card and you know folded cardstock with the envelopes and everything. So um, I just decided I'm gonna just use it. Black is okay. Um, so uh, this is one of them. I just layered on a lot of the Christmas paper that I got. Um, and then layered on all of these little embellishments. I already had some of these stamped out from a previous project. Just colored that um, b the bear in. I'm probably going to put some um, either glossy accent or some Wink Stella on that sweater though, I think it'll look nice. And then on the inside, I just have that. And I added a little Nutcracker sticker there. So that's one of them from this year. I feel really accomplished, you guys. I can't believe I made so many. Here is another one from this year. Um, as you can see, very different from this one um, in terms of, you know, like I just use different products on everything. So um, again, more layering of paper. I did try to kind of use uh, um, the snowflakes that I had because I just felt like I had so many. Oh my gosh. And then um, this is just a Santa tag that I have uh, that I just used as kind of the main focal piece of this. And then this inside is actually quite similar to the other one. So I guess that's a similar point of, oops, of the card so far. I made this one. Um, this one's very, very simple. Um, just one piece of paper because I really loved this paper. It, I don't know if you guys can catch it on camera, but um, it's got glittery pieces on it. It's got some raised pieces, a little bit of glossy accent to it. It was from a Martha Stewart um, paper pad that I've had forever. Uh, so, and then I just went with circle themes on this one. So, and then a little snowman tag from the Target dollar tags this year. They are adorable. And then just a sticker that I, because I wanted some words on here. Um, and then that little guy, how cute is he? So there's another one. And this one, um, again, 
I loved this tag. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's huge. It's very, it makes a statement. Um, so I wanted to kind of keep the rest of it fairly simple. I didn't want to add too many snowflakes and things like that because the background was so busy. Um, but I, I did add this little bear down here and I had some sequins down here. I just thought it would kind of look nice. Um, pretty simple. And then that's the inside of the card. The insides are going to be really similar. And then that used up all of my black cardstock, I believe. And so then I went to um, this cardstock or this card base that I had forever. It is actually embossed with snowflakes on it. I've just had it since I think last year or the year before that. Um, and I've always wanted to use it, never have, because uh, I don't have like an embossing machine and things like that. So I just thought it was nice to pick up stuff like that when I can. Um, so this is one of the cards that I made. And as you can see, it's craft. And it's got the embossed like um, snowflakes and ornaments and it's really pretty. So I wanted to keep that in there. So I didn't want to cover it all up with paper. Uh, so these are more like layering things on the card base rather than putting like a big old piece of paper on the card base. So um, I used uh, just the snowflakes, lots of layering on snowflakes. Um, I used that snowman again and I kept the little string on it. I just kind of thought it looked cute on this one because of the blues. Um, some washi, some paper, a little um, strip of uh, sentiment down there. And then on these, I can't remember, did I put, oh yeah, I did. I put a little white sheet inside anyways. And you can actually see the embossing better on the back. It's actually really pretty. So I used up these finally. I was so excited. I think there were about eight cards in this set. So. Here's another one. Um, again, I really wanted to just keep that embossing on the back, so I just layered on other pieces. Um, I went with red and blue on this time because it's hard to use up these like red or green snowflakes. I feel like it's just it's an odd color for a snowflake, so I just tried to layer it as best I could. Um, love these little penguin stickers that I got from Recollections last year, and then I just added a sentiment here on top of this. Uh, glittery tag it looks, looks pretty cute and then that there these are still all really simple and here is another one um, layering of the snowflakes again some sequins on this one um, the Santa and I kind of almost wish I had taken this twine off and added red twine to the Santa but I just didn't have time for that <laughs> And then um, just some scrap paper, some washi, and another sentiment down there. But how cool is that Santa? That was one of the ones from the Target dollar tag Santas. So I just absolutely love how he looks there. And then that there. Um, similarly, I used that Mary tag again, as you can see. Um, I actually think this is one of my favorite ones. I like the washi tape that I used. Um, adding the um, snowflake here, the little penguin. I just had this little wood veneer like lingering about on my desk for months now. It's just, I never knew what to do with it. I, I didn't know where to put it. So I just had it on my desk forever. Finally, I was just like, maybe it'll look okay here. So I just put it on and I actually think it looks fine. So I left it there. Um, oh, some of these stuckers might need a little bit of glue though. Um, so that's that. And then that one opens that way. I've been really liking putting these little sticker accents inside the cards as well. I think they're kind of cute. So um, here is a, another one. Again, lots of layering of snowflakes. This little sentiment was actually from a six by six paper pad where they have those small messages on one sheet and I just cut it up and added it here. Um, Another bear cutout that I already had. Probably going to do some glossy accents again or Wink Stella on that sweater though, just to add a little bit more to it. And then that is the inside. <clears throat> I did not buy Christmas washi this year. I just, I'm trying to use up the washi I have. So I just, I was like, no, don't buy any. Um, here is another one, kind of similar to this one actually, I would say. Um, but again, layering different pieces together. I really like this combo here. The funny thing is I actually meant to glue, <laughs> I actually meant to put the glue on this side because the other side is a light blue. So it really made the blue pop a little bit more, but I actually, I made a mistake cause it was so late at night and I was like, oh my gosh. So I just glued it down and actually it looks okay. But, um, I just thought it was kind of funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, I was sleepy drunk. 
<laughs> so there's that one. Added some sequins there. When in doubt, add sequins. I just feel like it, it adds something that you didn't realize you needed. Um, here is another one. I like this one a lot. I had a big strip of this. Oh, excuse me. I had a big strip of this um, paper left over. And it was one of those just long strips. And I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I just added it there. Added some so snowflakes. Did a little bit of white um, um, stitching border with my white gel pen. Added the little Santa. I kind of kept the little um, string on because I thought it was cute pop of red. And then added a few little sequins there where I thought they needed something. And then that's just in there. Did something very similar with this one. Um, with this color paper. And this was kind of hard to use actually after I started using it. This pinkish magenta hued paper. Because then the greens are also really muted. Um, so I just kind of did the best that I could. Uh, added some gold. This red tag. This white uh, snowflake. A little bit of sequins up here and then this really adorable snowman uh, tag love those and then I started so I used up all of these card bases the embossed ones finally so I was like yay! so I started moving on to um, I have some card bases that have no no envelopes so I'm really glad that I bought envelopes during Black Friday like they're just these and I think these were from Oh gosh, Mambi. They're like, they were in that um, booklet and they just had really pretty colors. So I took any color that kind of would look Christmassy and I just added to it. So this is one of them. This is kind of a mess of a card. It's got a lot going on in it. Um, but I was trying to use up again some of these papers. Um, but not too bad. I'm probably going to do the same with the bear on this one as well. The inside I left blank because it's actually a white. Um, white on the inside. Maybe I'll put a little washi down here. I don't know. I kind of just like the way it looks, but maybe I'll stamp inside of it. That's typically what I like to do when it's white like that. Another one. Um, this one I really do like because I just think the layering looks nice. Um, we've got gold and red pretty much with this little, little bit of silver and white in there. Um, but I just like the way that the washi goes here. This gold. Um, everything's glittery. I used up these stickers here. I'm so glad I remembered I had a few of them left. So really nice. And then again, blank on the inside on that one. And finally, this one. Um, green. This, the card base is green. So I kind of went with a little bit of green as well here. Um, it's like green, gold, silver. It's a little bit all over the place. <laughs> um, I cut that out from a... Uh, journaling card that I had. I just kind of thought this needed a little sentiment somewhere on it. So I just cut that out and put that there. And then that's blank on the inside. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh my gosh. It took forever to share all those with you. I need to make a few more though. And I'm kind of liking this whole make different Christmas cards. Um, make each of them different, you know, thing that I'm doing this year. So um, kind of fun. It makes me feel a little bit more creative because I haven't made cards in so, so long. So um, thank you guys so much for watching this very, very long video. Maybe I will actually film me making one of these random Christmas cards at some point. Um, if you guys want to see more of my Christmas, scrapbook, holiday related videos, definitely check out the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.